Hello and welcome to this on-demand video for Making Tax Digital for the upcoming changes in April 2022. This includes VAT submissions within Sage 50 Cloud accounts. In this session, we will look at what Making Tax Digital is, a timeline of Making Tax Digital so you can understand what is happening when, looking at what is meant by digital records, explaining when Making Tax Digital for VAT will come into effect for you based on your obligation periods, registering for Making Tax Digital, and how to calculate and submit a VAT return in Sage 50 Cloud accounts. So let's take a look at what Making Tax Digital is. Phase one of Making Tax Digital came into effect in April 2019. At this point, businesses with a turnover above the VAT threshold of £85,000 were required to register and file their VAT returns electronically to HMRC. This removed the ability for these businesses to log on to the HMRC gateway and manually submit their figures and required returns to be submitted from Making Tax Digital compliant software or through a compliant bridging software. These businesses also needed to keep digital records of their transactions. As of the 1st of April 2022, these rules are extended to all VAT registered businesses, including those below the threshold, unless they meet with the requirements to be declared as exempt. So what do I need to do under Making Tax Digital? First, you need to ensure that you have Making Tax Digital for VAT compliant software. You'll then need to start maintaining digital business records for the purposes of VAT. Next, you need to sign up with HMRC for Making Tax Digital for VAT. And finally, start submitting your VAT return through your compliant software. Next, let's take a look at the Making Tax Digital timeline. Making Tax Digital for VAT is part of a larger Making Tax Digital rollout and will eventually impact self-assessment and corporation tax submissions. This legislation initially came into effect in April 2019 for the majority of businesses and the VAT return for the first VAT period after the state had to be submitted via digitally compliant software. More complex businesses, such as groups, were offered a deferral, and this applied to them from the 1st of October 2019. Making tax digital for VAT meant that VAT returns needed to be submitted via digitally compliant software. Therefore, many this meant no longer logging onto the gateway and submitting the figures in this way. What many businesses may not have been aware of is that Making Tax Digital for VAT also introduced the requirement to keep digital records and ensure that transactions follow an entirely digital journey, also known as digital links. And this requires digital links between softwares. As this is a considerable change for many businesses, there was a soft landing period for this, which was due to end on the 1st of April 2020. However, due to the COVID pandemic, was extended to April 2021. The next step is due in April 2022. Making tax digital submissions will become compulsory for all VAT registered businesses, including those who have voluntarily registered for VAT. Finally, don't forget that the Making Tax Digital rollout will continue with Making Tax Digital for Income Tax Self-Assessment coming in 2024 for sole traders and landlords and 2025 for general partnerships and Making Tax Digital for Corporation Tax is coming in 2026. At present, these dates for the introduction of Making Tax Digital for Self-Assessment and Corporation Tax are provisional and subject to change. So what does making tax digital mean for you? Over the next few slides, we're going to take a look at maintaining digital records of your transactions, considering whether digital links rules apply to you, and submitting the return digitally direct to HMRC via compliance software.
So let's take a look at these and where Sage Software can support with this. Making tax digital requires businesses to keep certain records digitally. This information includes the business name, address and VAT registration number, the VAT scheme that the business is using, the VAT on goods or services sold and purchased, any adjustments you're making to the VAT return, the time and value of the supply, and the VAT charged on goods and services. There are more specific requirements for certain VAT schemes, for example, retail schemes. More information can be found on the HMRC website. All of this information is recorded as standard when processing transactions or adjustments within both Sage 50 Cloud accounts and Sage Accounting. At the moment, there is no legal requirement to scan and store digital copies of these receipts or invoices. If you use multiple softwares for accounting, then you may need to consider digital links. This may not apply if Sage is your sole software responsible for processing transactions and submitting VAT returns. However, if you're transferring data from one piece of software to another, you may need to consider whether the transfer of this data is a digital link. Digital links allows importing of data, automatic transfer of data, and formulas linking cells together, but does not permit manually rekeying data or copying and pasting between software. Initially, HMRC allowed a soft landing period for digital links. However, this ended in March 2021. So digital links will need to be considered from the outset if you're going to go live in April 2022. And then we have the Making Tax Digital submission. First, there will be no change to the frequency of submission or the deadlines in place after registering for Making Tax Digital. The only change you may see is that you can no longer log on to the HMRC gateway to manually enter the figures and you must submit direct from your software. Doing this should help you to streamline the process and reduce the likelihood of errors. The Making Tax Digital submission will transfer the nine box total figures from your VAT return in your software to HMRC on your behalf. It is important to understand that there will be penalties for non-compliance with Making Tax Digital and it will be on a points-based system. One point will be received for each late submission and once you meet a certain threshold, this is four points for quarterly submissions and five points for monthly submissions, a penalty will be charged. These points can be removed after a period of compliance and in addition, there will also be penalties for late payments to HMRC. So let's now take a look at when you will need to make your first Making Tax Digital submission. Your first Making Tax Digital submission will be your first full VAT period after April 1st. So for monthly, this will mean your first return for April will need to be submitted under Making Tax Digital rules. If you submit on a quarterly basis, then it will be your first full quarter after April 1st. So for example, if your first VAT period is April to June, then this submission will need to be completed and submitted digitally by August the 7th. If, however, your return runs from March to May, then your May submission can still be submitted as usual. It will be your June to August return, which falls under Making Tax Digital Rules and will need to be submitted by October the 7th, 2022. In order to submit to HMRC under Making Tax Digital, you first need to register for MTD with HMRC. It is important that you complete this registration at the correct time. This is to ensure that you're registered in time for your compulsory submissions and also to ensure payments are successful and you don't end up paying twice. First, you'll need to complete your final non-Making Tax Digital VAT return. Then you'll need to wait at least five days before registering for Making Tax Digital, but don't leave this until you have less than seven days left for your next return. Once you're registered for Making Tax Digital, you won't be able to deregister from the service. Finally, once you've received an email confirmation that the registration has been successful, you then need to activate this within your software. 
So let's take a look at how to calculate and submit making tax digital VAT return within Sage 50 cloud accounts. In order to submit under Making Tax Digital, you will need to be using Sage 50 Cloud accounts on version 24.2 or above. However, we do always recommend using the latest version of the software to get the most out of your software and your subscription. Once we've had confirmation that the registration for Making Tax Digital has been successful with HMRC, we then need to activate MTD within the software. This can be done within settings and then company preferences and in the VAT tab. Within here, we need to ensure that the VAT number is entered and the tick box to enable making tax digital submissions is selected. You will then be asked if you are sure that you want to activate making tax digital in your software. Once it's activated, we can continue our processing until we're ready to submit our first Making Tax Digital VAT return. In this example, our company is submitting quarterly and the first Making Tax Digital quarter is April to June 2022. Select the VAT module and then the VAT return option. The first step is to take a backup of your data. If you make a mistake and reconcile an error, this is the only option we have to undo a reconciliation. Next, we need to enter our date range in whole months. Remember that this must match what has been set with HMRC. We can also set the program to run verification checks on the data to highlight items which may require double checking before submitting. Now you can click Calculate. The next steps show us the calculated figures for this period and the drill down option can be used on most of these boxes to see what each box total is comprised of and this can be drilled down to individual transaction level. We have the ability to add adjustments where required and attach documentation to support the adjustment. And we can also run the VAT and reconciliation reports to check all figures are correct before submitting to HMRC. Once we're 100% happy with the values, we can click reconcile the return. The final stage of the VAT return is to transfer your balances from the sales and purchase tax control accounts onto the VAT liability account. This is easily done using the post journal option. We can also post the payment to or from HMRC in this window at the click of a button. You may not wish to do these steps immediately, so you can close and return to these three steps at a later point. So finally, let's take a look at submitting this return under Making Tax Digital if we click on the option to submit from within the VAT return window. First, we are shown the company details. These will pull through automatically from settings and company preferences. It then begins its connection to the HMRC gateway. We need to authorise the software to submit on your behalf. This authorisation will last for 18 months. Here, we need to enter the government gateway login details used to log into your HMRC account and then click sign in. Then we need to select grant authority. Next, the available obligation periods will appear from HMRC. It's important that if the drop down offers multiple date ranges that you select the correct one that matches the VAT return you've created in your Sage 50 Cloud accounts. Do not continue if the dates in the drop down do not match your data. Once you've selected the date range and the tick box to agree to the HMRC declaration is selected, you can click to submit to HMRC. This will send the data across to HMRC on your behalf. This may take a while to submit during busy periods. However, once done, you will get a window to confirm that the submission was successful. If you close the successful submission window, you can then see on the VAT return the submission data and a correlation ID. 
you can also download and print the submission confirmation. Back in the VAT return window, the VAT return now has a status of submitted. If you require any additional support, we have a wealth of options available to you. The Sage 50 Help Centre can be found at sage.co.uk forward slash help or from within your software by selecting help and then help centre. Select Sage 50 Cloud Accounts and alongside other great support options, you have the option for manage your VAT. From here, you can find support on creating your VAT return and some of the common questions and queries. There's also a dedicated MTD section and within here there are support guides, videos and links to free training options. In addition, we also have Sage University, our dedicated learning resource across various products. This can be found at sageu.com. So now to summarise. Making tax digital for VAT will apply to all VAT registered businesses from April 1st onwards. This includes those businesses who have registered voluntarily. It will apply for the first full VAT period after April 1st, 2022. You need to ensure the date range you enter on the VAT return matches the obligation period set with HMRC. And if you use third party software, transfer between these is subject to digital links. VAT submissions will need to be made from making tax digital compliance software. And you will need to register with HMRC and wait for email confirmation before activating making tax digital within your software. If you use an accountant, it's always worthwhile to speak to them first before completing any of the steps mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching and good luck on your making tax digital journey.